will the AI take our jobs? Yes, when we are not sure. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, since that seems to be a concern in the dev community, we can figure out what to do in the meantime. And I don't mean by helping you to code your apps, which it can do for sure, but to help with the features of your apps. For example, I put useful links to articles I find around the web in Notion or Obsidian apps. However, I always need to categorize them somehow, by tags usually. So wouldn't it be great if I could just paste a link to a box and then let AI generate most relevant tags or keywords for that article and that way I would be able to categorize them. In this video we will create this exact example using OpenAI and XGS. And actually it's incredible how easy this is. Let me show you. Let's quickly just go over the setup. I have here Next.js 13 app with table for styling. What we also need is an OpenAI SDK for Node. You can install it by running npm install OpenAI in the root of your Next.js app. Now you need to sign up for OpenAI API by clicking the API link on their site and then click sign up. You can use email or Microsoft or Google accounts. Once you're done with that, log in. Click on your profile and then view API keys. Create new secret key and save it somewhere because you will not be able to copy it again. You will only be able to create a new key. Okay, setup is done. Let's write some code. In your next step, create a file called .tvnv.local. Add OpenAI key as a variable and add your key there. Now create a file called getAIResponse.js inside of Pages API folder. We need to set up OpenAI connection. First, we require configuration and OpenAI API from OpenAI module. Then we define our configuration and pass in OpenAI key from our .env.local file. Great. Let's define our async handler function for our API endpoint. In it, we will actually call the OpenAI API and give it a task. The most important parts here are model and prompt. Model defines the AI model that you want to use. Different models have different usage cost. You can read about different models on the OpenAI site. We will use the most expensive one called TexDaVinci003. Don't worry, you get 18 bucks of API calls for free for two months, and that's more than enough for what we are doing here. Prompt defines what you want to ask the API, like when you go to chat GPT page and ask it something. For this, we will ask the AI to read the link we send it and give us three most relevant keywords of an article, and then return those keywords as a string separated with pipe symbol. This is so we can parse it easily into an array later on. So we can say something like this, read this link and give me three most relevant keywords, output them as a string separated with pipe. We will of course get the link from the request that we will send to our get AI response endpoint. Only thing that is left to do is return data from the response in JSON format. We can already test this out by going to localhost 3000, then API, then get AI response, question mark, link equals, and then you just add a link to an article. I will add this one. Now we wait a little and if everything is okay, you should get a response like this. Notice that under text property, we get a string with keywords separated by a pipe. All that is left to do now is to create a user interface for sending links and we're done. So I removed almost everything from the homepage of our Next.js app and replaced it with just an input field and a button. Input and button are inside of a form tag. Okay, first of all, let's add two states, loading for showing loading state while the AI is working and data for sending and displaying the keywords that we generate from the AI. Now let's add a function for submitting our link to the API. I'll call it handle submit, 
We will of course first prevent default so that our page doesn't refresh. Then we set the loading state to true, get the link from the field named link in our form and we send that to the API with fetch. We await for the data and when we get it, we need to trim it to remove new lines and then split it into an array on the pipe symbol. Set loading to false. Great. Now all we need to do is pass handle submit function to the on submit event of the form. Under the form, we show please wait if the loading state is true. And then finally, we spit out the keywords if we get the data and loading state is false. And that's all there is to it. Let's test it out. Find your article somewhere on the web and paste that link. I will use the documentation for installing Tailwind CSS on Next.js. And if everything works as expected, we should get some results. Try it out with a few more articles and judge for yourselves if the results you are getting are relevant. Of course, this is just a proof of concept, but the possibilities here are endless. You could, for example, take those keywords, save them to the database with a link, maybe allow the users to add their own keywords, play around with refining the results, and so on. What would be your idea for using AI in your apps? Let me know down in the comments. So this is it for this video. Everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.